All right, we're here with Dave Singer, owner and president of Peregrine Manufacturing for episode one of PMI PIA seminars. Let's start out here nice and simple. Where are you from? I'm from Blackstone, Mass. Um, I left there when I was 18 and I've lived basically on the four corners of the, of the country, Seattle area, Southern California and Florida, and then back up to the Northeast six years ago. Uh, how'd you get into skydiving? I knew I wanted to just fly since I was a little kid. So probably when I was seven or eight, I realized I knew I wanted to be a skydiver and, and fly. Um, I got into skydiving by Matt Davidson, believe it or not. Um, he uh, introduced me into the sports side of things when we were at uh, rigor school in the Army. So he got me into it, and then, uh, yeah, kind of ran with it since then. When was your first jump? Uh, October 1992 in, uh, in the Army, and then August of 1993 was my first civilian skydive. What was your first rig? Uh, my first rig was a Northern Light Infinity before it was a Velocity Sports Equipment Infinity. Oh, wow. And uh, I had a Paraflight Robo Z, which was top of the line at the time. One of those things you deploy at four, open at five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd make uh, your living in the sport when you first started? I knew I was going to do this since I was a kid. So, yeah. I, this is something that I just, I knew I was going to sew. My mother and my grandmother all, I watched them sew and then build stuff. They made my clothes when I was a kid. So I watched them do it, and I've been sewing with their machines since I was a small child. So I always knew I was going to do something in the sport. Um, I joined the Army specifically to be a parachute rigger, to jump. So that I knew I was going into it for that reason. So I, I knew since I was a kid, and basically everything I did in my teenage years was to get into doing this. Uh, what's your favorite skydiving memory? Favorite skydiving memory? Uh, Jumping over the jungle in Sri Lanka with 42 wild elephants underneath. Landing 30 yards from a family of 42 elephants. It was amazing. Seems like skydiving's brought you some pretty cool places. What other uh, places around the world has it brought you? Um, pretty much everywhere except for Russia and China. I've Everywhere in my entire professional life has, that I've traveled, which has been around the world, has been directly related to jumping or skydiving in some way, or just because that's been my job since I was 18. Yep. Well, are Russia and China on your list? China definitely on my list. Russia, not so much, <laughs> but definitely want to go to China. Uh, what's your favorite drop zone? Uh, Paris Valley, that's my home drop zone. That's where I made the bulk of my skydives. Uh, but Skydive Chicago is a close second right behind that. Um, when did you start building rigs? Started building pieces and parts in 1997. Free bags and handles and cutting containers in 1997. Uh, and then in 2003 at SunPath uh, is when I really got into it as a uh, drafter and image engineer there. And uh, that brought you, obviously, to create uh, PMI. How was PMI conceived? PMI was conceived, uh, actually, as an add-on to my engineering company. I have an uh, uh, engineering consultation company called Peregrine Technical Services, which I've had owned and operated since 2009. And then in 2013, I wanted to add a manufacturing component to that and an opportunity came about and uh, we made the big move and uh, you know, jumped head first into this. So uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was something that I was always going to do. My family is all entrepreneurs so, and I'm an entrepreneur. I, I always want to do this for myself. Do what I love, 
for myself and for and for my own company. That's really what I wanted to do, and 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 to continue with uh, doing what I'm passionate about. What is something people might not know about PMI? Hmm. Not everybody might know that uh, we started the 18. The first 18 months of this company was spent in my basement. So you're in your basement just building rigs. Yep, the entire production line, the FAA was in my basement. <laughs> no way. Yep, uh, so for the first 18 months, we were fully functional out of the bulkhead. Right, The UPS guy came right <laughs> down the bulkhead to get the rigs. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, do you embrace some people seeing PMI as an underdog in the industry? Good question. Um, I, I guess I do. Um, it does, it, it motivates, that type of thing kind of motivates me and it's like, okay, I'm going to, you know, go after a little bit harder, but I have, I have motivation and passion for what I do anyway. So it's, it's come my, that motivation comes from inside. Yeah. So it all comes from me and, and what I love to do. So getting inspiration from being the underdog. Yes. It may throw a little fuel in the fire, but you know, my inspiration comes from, from, from us, from what we're building here and, and, and the culture that I'm building and the company that I'm building. What sets PMI apart from other harness container companies? The culture, exactly what I just said. The, the, the fact that we're starting, we started six years ago when we have this, basically the, the same technologies that we have now. So our, our birth as a company, we were able to grow with better technology, um, a better understanding of how a small business culture works, and really putting a focus on a quality product with a culture of production and manufacturing behind it that, that people can get behind and be inspired by. Where do you see your company in five years? Who do you look up to? What are you most proud of in your personal life and in your company? I'd say I'm most proud of in my personal life. I'm, I'm proud of the decisions that I've made over my the span of my my life and my career. I, I've, I've made good decisions. I've made smart decisions. I'm proud of my education. I'm proud of my skill set. And I'm proud of being humble. I, I try and really be humble and continue to learn every single day. So I'm proud of that I'm, I'm proud of understanding that life is a journey of of getting to know yourself and and knowing yourself and um yeah. well thanks for your time do you have anything to say to our viewers before we go to part two of our seminars <laughs>